Preserve by Amanda Gaspari. Inside, inside of Raymond's house, the picture-perfect home with a lawn and neighborhood to match. Distant sounds of summer, birds, kids laughing in the distance. Raymond's home is immaculate. The scene takes place in the kitchen, which is wide and open, with mostly natural light coming through. The floors and cabinets are a light pine wood color, and the countertops are a rich emerald marble color. Black hardware and knobs, etc. Chrome appliances. There is an island counter in the middle of the room. Ray and Maureen, his sister, are in the kitchen at a distance. How'd you get here if the car is busted? I took the train. How long of a ride was that? With all the stops on the subway, about two hours. It's about the same as driving, at least. But it's cheaper than filling up my tank. Hmm. You said you had something to talk about. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, first of all, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. That's good. Um, how's Diane? She's fine. Look, I, I can't stay too much longer. She wanted me to meet up with her at the doctor's. Oh, that's right. Uh, how far along is she now? About five months. <laughs> but you'd never know it. She's so tiny. Some people, women are blessed in that regard. She sure is. Huh. Marissa got into Amherst College, by the way. Yeah, she told me. I'm, I'm so proud of her. I was, I was helping her proofread some of her essays when she applied. You didn't know? No. Oh, uh, yeah, she uh, reached out to me. That's nice of you. I was just glad to give her some sort of guidance. It's really stressful getting ready for college. I can only imagine. But now that she's in, she's going to be all set. And fortunately, she's going to be getting a good amount of financial aid. Yeah, because it's based on your income, right? It is. Is that all? I should be leaving sooner rather than later. Um, not quite. You see, um... <sighs> yep. So, as I told you, my car broke down. Right. And without my car, it's impossible for me to get to work. Unfortunate. It is. So, I was wondering if maybe you could please loan me some money for the time being. Loan you money? I need to replace my transmission. My car has been shaking a lot, and it, I need to get it fixed ASAP. I have every intention of paying you back, it's just things are really tough for me right now. Without my car, I won't be able to get to work to make money, and I need to make sure I make money for Marissa when she's in school. You said she's getting a good financial aid package, that should be plenty. But that doesn't co cover the cost of everything. Like what? Like books, supplies, food, and anything else that may come up. You never know what can happen. Marissa can work while she's at school, can't she? <sighs> she doesn't want to worry about working while she's in school just yet. She wants to adjust to college life and focus on her grades. Both can be accomplished. She got accepted to the honors program and her financial aid rides on her GPA. I know what that's like. She'll be able to do it. She's just always been a hard worker. I want her to have an easier life than what I had. So you're going to encourage that by coddling her? It's not coddling. It's providing for my daughter, your niece. She should learn to be self-sufficient. I've shown her how to do that. How? I showed her how to push through challenges no matter what. Challenge? Don't call your irresponsibility a challenge. No one was surprised when you got pregnant. Right. You got pregnant at 17, and before you skipped school all the time, never came home at night, because you were doing God knows what. That's the past. The past predicts the future. I grew up when I needed to. By force of your mistakes. Marissa was not a mistake. I never said she was. We're talking about you and in your choices, not her. Well, she got into her dream school, didn't she? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? If I was really so irresponsible, would I have raised her to be the way she is? She saw you struggle in life and decided to work hard and focus on school so she could have an easier life. Still, she's learned from me because I've learned. Did you learn? <laughs> Just last year before Mom died, she was telling me you, you had to file for bankruptcy again. That's three times. Not all of us can afford to live so easily. And not all of us learn our lessons. Just because I'm not the most financially savvy person out there doesn't make me a deadbeat. I do work hard. If you worked as hard as you said you do, you would be asking me for anything right now. I'm asking you because I have no one else I can turn to. Did I turn to anyone when I needed to get myself through school? No! I, I took that shitty job at Dairy Queen because I had to. And he, even that wasn't enough. I was left with no choice but to work the third shift at Walmart. And that must have been hard. Hard is an understatement. Even with all my hours at my jobs, I, I still had to make grades in school. I was on an academic scholarship and needed at least a 3.7 GPA. I was able to push through because I didn't want to settle for anything in my life. And I've always admired that about you. What? Your determination to better yourself. I learned that from you. I mean, you really think I wanted to work four jobs when I was pregnant? Four jobs. 
at the same time. And two of them were shitty restaurant jobs on the weekends and weeknights, but I also worked at a daycare in the early morning, and then I worked at a desk job full time. She needs you to be that kind of determined mother now. I am, but I'm in a jam. I've always been able to provide for us. It's just now my car is broken. These things happen. You were just saying it yourself. You learned how to get through tough times. Don't be dependent now. Asking for help isn't being dependent. Then what is it? Human, please. Right, you're a surgeon. What does that have to do with anything? You make so much. If I were to give you the money, how much would you ask for anyway? Five thousand. Maureen, that isn't that much. You can make that in no time. I could if I was able to get to work, but without my car. You can't take a bus, can you? I could, but spending that little bit of money every day would only set me back more. How? The total fare to get to and from work would be $10 a day. That's not that much. It is, but I only need 20 to fill up my tank, and I only do that once a week. Well, how would you pay me back then? I could pay you back a little each week. Well, how much each week? How about $50 a week? So then you'd be paying me back for about two years. If that's what it takes, yes. <laughs> and how much do you make in a week? About 500. Really? It's been less before. So you only make about 2,000 a month? Yep. How, how do you manage? I live carefully. What are your bills like? 800 for rent, uh, 100 for my car insurance, electric ends up being close to 102, my cable and phone bill are combined, and that's about 200. So then you'd still have around $800. Yeah, but that goes towards gas and anything else I need. Anything Marissa needs, too. How about food? How much do you spend on food a week? Not that much. How much is not that much? Maureen? I don't spend money on food. What do you mean you don't spend money on food? I don't. Then how do you get food? I just don't get, I don't get a food as a necessity and a, and a first in people's finances. I go to the food bank. You what? I go to the food bank. What? I, I just, you, you aren't homeless though. I don't get it. You don't have to be homeless to be starving. Yeah, I, ha I had no idea. I, I know things haven't always been easy for you, but Really? The, the, the food it's bank? It's a resource. I had to work smarter, not harder. But Marie, you need to eat. And I've been able to. Why didn't you ask for help? I, I couldn't ask anyone for anything after being able to make it work on my own. I had to prove everyone wrong. You never made it seem like things were that bad. Well, they were. And they are. I've done everything I needed to for Marissa. It's about how we deal with the bad that shows how strong we are. <laughs> I'm asking for her, not for me. How can I trust that you'll be able to pay me back? Because this is for her. If you help me with my car, I won't need to ask for anything else. As long as I have a way to work, I can always make money. Ray says nothing for a moment. His phone goes off. He steps out of the room and to answer. He returns quickly. I'm sorry, but I really need to go now. Diane is going to be at the doctor soon. I can't leave until I know your answer. Will you please help me? For Marissa's betterment. Everything I do is for that girl. Why well, don't I give you a call later? Right, please. Well, if you're going to be paying me back every week for some time, we have to get into the swing of talking more, don't we? Really? Really. I'll call you later, Maureen. Tell Diane I said hi. You got it. I'll walk you out. He walks her to the door. Thank you. Don't mention it. Maureen hugs her brother abruptly, but genuinely. He doesn't know how to react at first, but then returns the hug. She exits. Ray returns to the kitchen uh, <clears throat> and has a moment to himself. Lights fade out. Thanks, Amanda. Sam, how about you? <laughs>